Um, I'm in Nakring City Pokemon Center. All right, let me head on over. Hex Cloak. Oh, damn. I got my uh, Halloween costume on. You're gonna I don't be think I'm going to buy one of these. You're going to be seeing a lot of people out because the game the server is really full. Hello. Miss Magius hat is kind of cool, but... I'm good. You like my outfit? You like my uh, Halloween outfit? Hang on, I'm looking at this uh, this animation right now in the store. This is just the cat one from before. How is it different? I don't understand. Uh, the only new ones are the top two. Uh, the rest are the cats are just. Uh, I think it's cheaper for Halloween. Oh, maybe I didn't see that. <clears throat> Oh, wow, you look really, yeah. really different. I am dressing uh, as a breeder for Halloween. Of course. <laughs> I should have known. Uh, dressing I also, as. <laughs> yeah. I also, uh, I did buy something, but it's one of the bikes. So I'm waiting for, I have to get the bike in this region to use. I was using that throughout the whole, like. Oh, I see. Yeah, the bat, the bat and cat are only 250 points. That's actually really cheap. Yeah, they're actually pretty nice now. But I didn't right, get I those. I want to see the bat. I don't. I don't recognize the bat, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna look at the bat. Go on, show me. Show me the bat. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, they Is just that show. Really it? Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't like the bat very much. Yeah, it was a little underwhelming, but it looked neat. I like the Miss Magius hat in in concept because it's one of my favorite Pokemon, but it's so big it looks silly <laughs> yeah i only like really like for those things i sort of only like the bike and the uh, hex maniac thing but i mean i yeah, could just the, buy something. the hex cloak is cool but when i had a look at it i couldn't really see a color where i was like yeah that looks good yeah that was sort of my uh my whole thing as well i was like nah, this doesn't really fit with anything i have so yeah i feel like i'd have to change my whole outfit for that to look right because that looks very strange with the team skull outfit but yeah, with the new update, since it broke all the <clears> themes, <throat> I'm currently using the uh, Vulpix theme. So it's like, as a little Vulpix next to the icons on the bottom, like, <laughs> and it's like red. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually end up looking into that. I didn't yeah. know if that was. Yeah, it doesn't look is too that bad. only the one color, or is there like multiple? Yeah, that is currently the only one color for that one. There is another one that's like like dark mode but there's no coloration really to it other than the basic stuff but it's I yeah my purple already it's so weird <laughs> yeah but yeah i just needed something right. that at least looks a little more coherent I should yeah. start recording this so i'm gonna i'm gonna get moving now all right sounds good okay here comes the intro here it comes <laughs> hey we're playing pokemon mo hey what up there you go we do a Poke MMO. We out here during the Halloween event. It's fall it's a now. It's Jack O' Lantern. Yep, the Jack O' Lanterns are all throughout the region. So I feel like it's been a while since we last streamed this because I don't. I, I stepped outside the Pokemon Center and I'm like, whoa, where am I? Where is this place? <laughs> yeah. Um, so what happened last oh, okay. time? Yeah, what happened last right, time is gym. we did this gym. The the museum got robbed by the uh, whatever plasma or whatever they're called. I forget their name. Um, okay. How and do you moving diagonally. I'm not. That's just lag. Oh, on my screen, you keep moving diagonally. It's really weird. Yeah, it's just lag yeah. because it's so many people in the servers right now. So, okay. but yeah, it's not too bad. See, we were we were down here dealing. With yeah, we already this. we came from this. This is she went to deal with this. We're going through well, the forest. Okay, I'm now reading what she's saying. E. I'm like the team plasma over here. I think I'd better stay here, though. Please head to Pinwheel Forest and search very carefully. Okay. Yeah, it's this way. Now I've seen, I've seen when I uh, when I um go on Discord and it says like what people are currently doing. I've seen you were in Pinwheel Forest. Yeah, I was only at the. Uh, that's where I ended the stream originally, and it's also okay. technically this is Pinwheel Forest, but this isn't I in the Pinwheel Forest yet. Just a heads up for anyone watching this VOD in the future. Um, this game had a Halloween update, and my overlay mod is uh, currently not up to date. So the game looks a little different. Probably looks more like how it looked in the earlier parts. But uh, we, we're doing what we can. Yeah, it's a little uh, whatever. It's... But yeah, uh, if you <laughs> see on my stream, I already did some things. I 
There's currently a 21 wisps. Ooh, speaking of, you probably want to see this. Um, I don't think there was a wisp nearby yet. We we can either go back further, but let's move on ahead. I guess there's probably one in the forest after you do your battle. This lady now. Fighting Nush, uh, Cheryl. Cherry, sorry. I thought there was an L left. Did you uh, do this part of the map yet? Or What part of the map? Uh, Down below here in this little, like... No. No, no okay. I haven't left the town yet. I just beat the gym, and then I think we left there. Okay. Since I know I did this part, uh, since I think I got a little ahead of you originally during the stream, and I was just up here. But yeah, I did... I basically did all this, and there's trick-or-treaters around... Oh my god, there's a Vulpix in the little, like, text box for the Oh, I just uh, want to say as well, in case anyone's curious, for any, for any Bryce enjoyers that are upset that he's not here, um, we've, we've just had a very difficult time organizing in general, because um, I think the last, like, week or so, one of the three of us every time has just not been able to. Yeah, it's been um, a, a bit hectic for everyone. It's not his fault because it's definitely been me and you as well. Like, it's mm -hmm. just, we've all just not been able to align very well with this recently. So, um, like, we're not going to do too much of this today so he can still very easily be caught up with us. Um, but, yeah, un unfortunately... Uh, just couldn't really hold off on doing this too much longer. I don't, I don't want to like leave this because I'm already like the thing is when it was Gen One through Four, I kind of know those. I don't know this one, so like I was forgetting what we were even doing. Yeah, it's been a little while, which is sort of why like I want to like you know we should get back into it and all that nonsense. And even if we just you know just a little bit, just got a refresher, especially because Halloween is happening and it's only lasting until the fourteenth in the in the event and there's a lot of cool little things here and like cool items like that you can get within the game itself and not just you know buy stuff so i think i need to turn you up i think i might have your volume a little low yeah i'm not sure my mic is like picking up on things i'm not sure if there's something's hitting my mic or something i noticed my like little guy 100 percent but you seem a little quiet so i'm gonna put you to 125 all right yeah i'm not sure what what's happening yeah, my mic's in my normal placement, so I don't know. I might just be more used to um I think Cam has his volume a little a little higher in general. No, I don't want to battle right come now. Come on, let's see. Let's go on. No. I want to I want to show you my team. You've been grinding. This yes, isn't fair. But it's at it's average levels. I'm not having been too far ahead. Are you a cat femboy right now? Me? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? I don't know, I just saw your sprite in the battle. Oh, uh, no, that's just my normal uh, thing. But yeah, so I got my Juat. He's leveled up. Uh, this, Like I said, we're level 25, like, equal. So we're not, like, doing too crazy. But, like, you even <laughs> avoided my attack, so. I can't believe you picked Duat. That like, goes against everything you believe in. Yeah, but I've been warming up to him. <clears throat> like, I've been warming up to this whole region because of my whole grinding and all this and this, so... It's like, you know, this is kind of, this ain't too bad. I've been enjoying the region, so. I'm kind of weirdly looking forward to when we're done playing this so I can try to work on the Pokedex, because at the moment, I kind of save playing this for when, god damn it. <laughs> I kind of <laughs> save this for when um, when we're playing it on right, stream rather than really ever playing it any other time. Yeah. It's like, that's, for the most part, what I've been doing. It's just like, it's just the last time I was like really itching to play something. I'm like, you know, I, you know, I could have enough time to grind. I could check out the stuff I missed while like on stream trying to catch up on things. So it's like, yeah, I'll move on ahead. All right, you got my do want down. So I'm going to show you my one of my new team members. Oh, ew, what the hell? <laughs> What's wrong with you? He's an Oni. So I was like, yeah, you know, I found both of them. They're in this uh, grass down here. So you can find them. They're rare counters, though. So it's hard to. That's them. fine. They can stay there. I don't care. <laughs> I I want to nickname him um, Hawk Throw. No, <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> the other one's name is uh, is so a sock. Yeah. So it's like yeah, it's it's sock. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so it's like they both perfectly <sighs> work. And I like hate it, but I love it. <laughs> oh. This poor Wubat does not know what's about to hit it. No. This thing is so fucking weak. 
He took it a little bit. I mean, this uh, bulk up a little bit. Then I get a critical hit. Hey, maybe. Super effective. Oh, Damn. not as close. Yeah, I think I think this is the battle where you beat me because I uh, my team is not very strong right now. I got I mean, a bunch of babies. I mean, we're all equal level, and my, most of my team. No, is... but they're babies still. That does is different. Well, this is a, this guy is a single stager. I mean, most of my guys are babies. Yeah, but single stagers have better stats anyway, right? So. Eh, relatively. Then, then like a baby. Then I mean, like you still a killed me. Or a shinx. So I mean, like here's another new guy on my team now. Man, got, that's not fair. That's got, just not fair. You can get him too. It's uh, he's from the uh, the wisps that are around. I know. But I'm gonna complain anyway. <laughs> it's not <laughs> fair. I was like, you know, he's cool. I love Chandelure. Yeah. I was like one of those like man. Uh, that's cool. I wanted to get that, and they all. I think all the wisps, or most of the wisps, they have a higher chance to get their hidden ability. So I'm like, you know, I'll do that. Um, here you can have this guy. Dear dude, <laughs> dear dude. Ah, uh, God, which one of these moves is gonna be the better choice? Yeah, we'll go with this one. I don't know. It won't matter. It won't matter. <laughs> nope. It won't matter. Oh, okay, I see, I see. <laughs> this is having fun here. That's, he... not, that's not a very wise move. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. 5 HP and you're using self-destruct? Yeah, he's kind of my throwaway mon right now. All right, let's oh, see. Oh, shit. Uh, Nothing good against good. you. Um... Leaf tornado. I forgot Snivy is one of the rare starters that doesn't evolve at level 16. Yeah. It's a little weird like that. I think Ostra was as well. 16 and think, it didn't evolve. I can't remember what level he evolved at. I was like, man, that's a Well, weird that's level. Gen 5, isn't it? They just had to make everything that little bit harder to evolve in Gen 5. Yeah, it's because of how long it was. So they had to, like, you know, extend it out. Yeah, Bronzor is sort of my weak hitting mom, but he takes a lot of hits at times. Unless it's yeah. like... Um, I mean, I literally don't have anything that's super effective to him. Yeah, he's so. he's a bit annoying to work with. That's that's sort I'll of why like I, leaf tornado. a lot of my team was like very poor against a lot of mons, so, which is why I wanted to grind a little and try to rearrange a little and take out my weakest links. All right, like, my last team member. Caesar. Now this ain't. Hey, you said they were all babies. This ain't a baby. Yeah, this is my one and only exception. <laughs> I've been kind of trying to hold off on sending him out until the end because he's he's my only hope. I mean, I have an I have an offense against him as well, but here, oh, you'll see him. Oh, I'm sure I will. Here he is. Huh? My parasect. Offense against a Caesar. I mean, a little. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what What were you going to do? I, I used Spore so I could put you to sleep. No, uh, like, oh. I was So fast. I should probably go down this way first. Oh, wait, I don't need right? a heal. Uh, you can. There's nothing down there other than some items here and there, but it's a good explorer down it. Yeah, it's more levels, though, and I, I need those. Yeah, yeah. Remember, you did get Rock Smash, so you can Rock Smash the rocks. I truly believe if you didn't use uh, Self Destruct with Geo, dude, that battle could have gone completely. Oh, different. oh yeah, probably. Uh, that was it. Was I think, I think you threw that one a little. It was mostly for fun. I like Geo, dude. Oh, Pe Petalil. Does that evolve into Lilligan? Yes, I was. I like, want one of those. I was trying to figure out where do you find one, but I'm like, I didn't want to really like search. I think it's further ahead though. Also, well, this um, trainer has one, so it should be in the Pokedex. Yeah. I did catch Tepig, so that was one of my off uh, stream things. Since I wanted to catch him, the next one is <clears throat> Snivy, which is in Pinwheel Forest of all places. So. At least the levels seem to be a little lower here, so I can actually, like, train against these things without getting destroyed. Yeah, my whole team right now is at. They're at the level cap, which is 27. So. Oh, is that really the level cap? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Your so. whole team? Yes, it's all 27. Oh my god. <laughs> because I was given a lot of... So, during the wisps and all that stuff, uh, and to help the cat, the pump cat, which is hidden in every region, it's you, you find it and it goes around uh, hidden in another part of the region, and you have to go off the hints it gives you to find the next one. And there's 31, 30, uh, like, finds you have to do and he moves from region to region and once you get them you get rewards and a lot of the rewards are exp candies so i'm like i grinded a little bit and i'm like you know i have all these rare candies i can just use them on the level them up and so i just did that all right so it was, uh, it was oh worthwhile. we should probably wait it, um have you already done that then have you like already done all of the not all of it no i've only did third and it's it's in every single like the pump cat stuff is in all the older regions but they right it's kind of tedious because you have to it gives you here let me show you um or tell you so it starts in the Rustboro city and it t typically will tell you you go there you talk to it and whatnot but then after every thing it gives you a clue in one of the messages it says oh pump cap moved to a new hiding spot in region and then it would say like for the, my recent one i'm at number 14 or 13 and it says, you feel a rush of cold air as Pump Cat vanishes. So you have to get a hint of where in Kanto is a rush of cold air. And I had the hardest time. Usually it's always a town. So I was like having a hard time. Like, where is there a cold town in Kanto? And then I completely forgot Sevi, Sevi Islands has a cold town that's uh, there. So I'm like, I didn't ever do Sevi Islands. So... Okay. I ended up having to go back and do the Sevi Islands, and then I realized <clears throat> I have to battle Elite Four to do the again to get the Rainbow Pass because I never did the other pass. So I have to redo that. I tried doing that. And I'm like, you know, I'm not in the mood to do Elite Four battles right now. I got to Laurel or to the third Elite Four, and I'm like, and I lost like twice. Okay, I'm just gonna go just go to bed. <laughs> so okay, but yeah, is this lady heal? Yeah, she heals. Like she she heals, but she doesn't restore your PP. Only HP That's and fine. status. So that kid's name was Homer, by the way. I, I know. I couldn't believe my eyes. Homer himself. Yeah, this is the dead end of the side. But yeah, I was thinking maybe that might be worth doing uh, whilst it's just us because we've been to every region, whereas Bryce has only been to Kanto, Johto, and Tia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like I said. Like we get up to the first gym since it's literally the next gym is like two or three routes away so it's like in the in the city so it's like we could go up to there it'd only be like maybe an hour or so depending on progress <clears throat> um since you're just doing the side area here shouldn't be too bad and then we could head up and uh do all the rest of the stuff hey i'm gonna do some rebattles i these still trainers. remember the first time i saw time pole yeah tim pool yeah uh, i hate this thing i don't know what it is i hate its face it's because it looks very like human not like human face because of the, uh, the yeah. color and so it's like it feels like uncanny <clears throat> yeah yeah it, it's it's really gross i don't like it i don't like it at all i mean that's fair because you know tadpoles are disgusting <laughs> so i, I think like tadpoles uh, have you ever like really looked at them i mean i don't know maybe <laughs> <laughs> They're, they're, oh, been a while. Yeah, it's like if you like look at them, you can see like their intestines on the bottom. It's that's why Polywhirl and Polytoads and all that have the swirl. That's supposed to represent their intestines that you can see. Yeah, but I like the Poly fellas. I know they're cool. Those ones are cool, but they're not made to be disgusting. <laughs> the real animal is like a little. Rock side's probably just gonna be a better move in general. Like they're fun to play with in the water. I used to do that, but. You're really looking at them, like touching them and all that. Ooh. I need to move this Almanite out from the front of my team. This thing's too I'm strong. Li I literally killed every single Tim Pole with a slash. <laughs> Iron defense. That doesn't do damage. Get out of here. Yeah. I need to change the lights on, on my keyboard and my controller and stuff. They're all orange still for Halloween. I gotta change that. And it is fall. It's still you can still do orange for a little bit. Yeah, but I'm done with it now. New <laughs> month, new color. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, so. I just realized. Oh no, you didn't tell me. Oh what? 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 Uh, my Fuji. I need to update my Fuji. Oh right, I completely forgot. Um, 
I'm still Halloween on your stream, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you are, yes, you are. Also, let me um, open up my Rockstar. There we go. There you go. I should I should be back to normal. Nice. The yep. curse is broken. Oh, my Shinx is evolving. Nice, you got a Luxio. There's someone I, I followed on Blue Sky who um, is like a really big Luxio fan, and it surprised me because I feel like the middle evolutions don't get a lot of love. So they it they don't. Nice it's, to see. Yeah, it's nice to have some. I know. I like for me, I love Charmeleon, so it's like it's so easy to say, "Oh, I love Luxray." Everybody loves Luxray. I mean, look at it. Mm -hmm. I think Luxray is like. For some people, it feels like it, it goes too hard. It goes too like, oh, I'm like, like a big strong. It's literally cat. Shadow the Hedgehog on yeah. fours. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> that's what I thought when I first ever saw Lux Trailers. I was like, whoa, that is literally Shadow. <laughs> they they really missed the opportunity by making the shiny not black and red. Yeah, I mean, like if you that... there's been recent stuff about um how there's uh, like. The, on the the whole leak stuff, they've been this Pokemon. We can't display it like this because it looks too much like this one character from this one anime. Like the oh right, Game Freak is very much trying to like make it so it no like if they see a, something that looks resemblance, we have to not do that at all. Oh okay. So that's why you'd never really see anything unless it's intentionally trying to do it for example okay like i'll rephrase i'll rephrase then like godzilla references. i hope luxray eventually gets added to pokemon infinite fusion because True. someone will make shadow yeah 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 probably like I, I already know the exact combination right luxray and a zoroark boom oh yeah also or luxray with um let me think i mean that weavile? one weavile could work yeah since the edge and attitude Probably could also be a really cool design because, you know, Luxury has the claws. Or not Luxury, um, Weavile has the claws. It has the, um, shiny Luxury, I mean, shiny Weavile has a yellow feather that could represent the horn or the rings. I don't, I don't think Luxury's in Infinite Fusion yet, is it? I don't think so. I mean, I feel like I would have noticed that because I feel like that's one of the ones I would have looked at and gone, oh, this thing has loads of cool fusion. Let me look. check some out. Shinx. I. If, few, if anything, yeah. I feel like it recently got added. Um, no, it, it, yeah, it's in it. It looks like to be in it. Might, yeah, I think that might have been a recent addition. It's a uh, three eight eight, so yeah, it's relatively recent. Okay. I kind of every now and then I like the idea of going and playing that game in my own time, but. If there's one thing I don't do, it's play games in my own time. <laughs> Actually, let me see if there uh, if there is one for Lux or uh, Lux Ray and Zoroark. I feel so bad for Woobat. This thing is so fragile. Lux Ray, Zoroark. Oh wait, I put typed in the wrong area. Zoroark. There we go. Let's see. Whoa. I'm gonna heal before I go up there. Um, that's not gonna end well. I mean, it's not too shadowy. I mean, it's sort of, but not really. It already exists. No, but. Oh right. It's it's <clears> vaguely <throat> like yeah. Let me go on to the other infinite fusion. I mean, site. literally combining those two just feels like it makes someone's like fasona OC anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, it does look like uh, that. So yeah. let me go here. Also, whilst you're doing that. I'm going to inform you that Petalil yes. is available in Lost Lawn Forest is the earliest place. No, Pinwheel Forest. Oh, all right. So that's right inside there then. Yeah. So you can L find them in there. Luxray and... Since uh, you were saying you wanted one. Yeah. I do want to get that. I probably won't use it. I really like Lilligan. It's a Pokemon I've never used and I really like the design of. Mm -hmm. Um... Same it, with um, Le Levani or Levani, however you say that. That's another one I really like from this. I'm pretty sure that's from Gen 5, right? Uh, Levani is, yes, I believe so. Yeah, because yeah. it evolves from Seawaddle, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, that's another one I really liked. I, I've like always wanted to use. But the thing is, I already have Snivy. I'm not going to get rid of my starter. So 
Right. Oh, that's cute. I, I love uh, Zor. Wait, what is this one? Uh, Shinx and Z Zoro. Zora. Zora. The the pre of Oh, I could I could see those two being pretty good. They're yeah. they're really cute looking. I love this one here. I'm posting this in the chat. Okay. It's I so can pull derpy. up on stream because that just seems to break things. But yeah, yeah, that's fine. Look at this. <laughs> I've really got to get to the bottom of um like switching scenes or like opening things in game capture crashing the game right i'm pretty sure i i spoke to cam because he's he was you know he's now been playing wind waker with me and um he's not been dealing with that at all since he started and i'm beginning to suspect that's a windows 11 issue yeah that's what i'm assuming too um it's probably something to do with drivers uh when was the last yeah. time you updated your drivers oh i always keep that shit updated all right, especially with recently. If you do, you have Nvidia. I forget if you said you did yes. not. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, they recently had a day one. Uh, well, not day one, but they had a, a major exploit that happened that can allow people. Oh, of course. To, yeah, that was on older versions. So they like oh, put an announcement great. out like a day ago, two days ago, uh, that like update now or else your computer could be like back hacked and like taken over. The only thing that bugs me about Nvidia is. If the app itself has an update, then the NVIDIA app will not launch in the background yeah. at all. And you'll have to like manually open it for it to let you know that it's not been running because it's been waiting to be updated. I hate that. Yeah, I mean, that's I mean, you don't need to have it running, so it's not like that important to have it running or not. So but well yeah but then you don't get any driver updates well yeah but they don't they you don't have them auto update anyway you have to manually do it yeah, yeah but i mean like then you don't get the notification that an update's available because the app hasn't been running because it's been waiting to get updated oh, i don't even know notice the updates so uh it, the, the, to be fair that might also be a windows 11 thing i don't even know anymore yeah it's like the only thing i see about that is like like, it, it appears in the bottom in the icon down there, and it has a little exclamation mark. I don't ever look down there that often. So it's like, the only time I look down there is like, oh, I need to click on Steam. And then I don't look at any of the other icons. There's I never really get a, a pop-up for it. So. But yeah, I'm going to head into uh, Pinwheel Forest to explore around. No, I'm good. Yeah, go for it. I mean, it's fine to, like, you know, go a little ahead every now and then. So yeah. it can't just wait for me forever. Yeah, there's some trainers uh, here, so it's like I'm gonna have a little time here. I'm just fighting everybody up this way. Trainer tips. A forest is likely to contain many well hidden items. No, not Swoobat. Woobat. My Woobat keeps getting knocked out. They may be hard to find. I like Swoobat. Yeah, I Swoobat's do. okay. I it's the better of the bats, I feel. Yeah. Like, if I was to compare it to Golbat, I prefer it, to be mm -hmm. honest. I like the little hot nose. I think that's cute. Yeah, I feel um, like we need a, no, a no, well, no, we did get another bat later. We got the um, Noi bat. Noi bat. Noi bat's the best yeah, no, bat, actually. I feel. Noi bat is by far the best bat. Also, oh, that Zoro you, you put in the Discord. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he look like he's got like Dunspa's face? I don't even know how to explain it. This is so derpy. It's like one of the. It's all not. Uh, it's not at all Dunspa's face because Dunspa has like closed eyes, but mm -hmm. something about it just looks like it. I'm pretty sure it's like a reference to one of those like cat meme images that is like it's just a cat that's like cross-eyed. It's like so derpy. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure we'll see that in um, Infinite Fusion playthrough number three. <laughs> yeah, eventually. <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking that one into reality. Uh, I mean, it's it's basically like unlimited like content in a way of how many well the thing is added. it has at least three different modes too because there's regular randomized and remix so i'll just do remix exactly three. yep one two one two keep keep with each other and one two punch the girls are gonna punch me now. up what i gotta say again i know it's the middle the middle of the evolution line curse but servine is a strange creature <laughs> Yeah, Servine is like the the stopgap between like evolution, like the missing link. <laughs> yeah, it's not to mention so see it. Odd. All right, uh, these are bugs. So let me do slash. <laughs> it's got such like I know that that actually kind of fits with the evolutionary like transition, 
but it's got such small feet. <laughs> it looks so <laughs> odd. But I know that's because it's basically in the middle of losing them as it yeah. turns into so, um, superior. It's the most, like, accurate evolution that, like, Pokemon has represented. Like, of just yeah. losing your limbs and, like, whatever. It, it is just a middle evolution. Yeah. It technically also does have hands in the final form. It's just it has it held behind its back, if you didn't know that. I think I did, but I don't recall. Yeah, it's like it's one of those things like you, you see it and you're like, oh, it ha lost its arms because it's really hard to uh -oh. tell. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Let me here. I actually forgot to do this here. Let me. Uh... Is this route 10? Let's route what? No. Why is there so many people here? I thought it, it, there's like loads of people here, so I thought maybe um, it's because there's a swarm of Ekans at the moment at Route Ten. I don't. There's probably a it. um. It's probably because of the uh, trick or treaters. So oh. trick or treaters, they change locations. I know that down there, there's a new uh, trick or treater. It's usually the zombie kid that hits up there. Uh, they change locations. I think every half hour or maybe an hour, depending in game at least. All oh, right. That was one thing oh, I was... Um, battling you doesn't count as seeing Litwick. That's a shame. Uh, Litwick was... I found that via the Wisp in the... Uh, where Muna was. It That <laughs> might change, like, randomly which ones are have them. So it might not have it if you went there. So I'll let you know when I see a Wisp up ahead. And then you can do that Wisp and see if it what's in it. But yeah, they're you. Those wisps are usually like level fifteen, so they're like pretty relatively in level with you. So. I don't like this bug guy. I don't trust him. He's he's okay. <laughs> I know he's just a gym leader, but I yeah. don't trust him. He's oh he's okay. Uh... They really did flesh out the gym leaders in this region. Yeah, they made them. They made them far more attached to the uh, the story than most. Which is cool. We also have the iconic pair of Skyla and Elisa. Is that how you say it? Um, I think. Eliza? No, not Eliza. I think it's Elisa. That's how I've always yeah, said it. Yeah, I think it's Elisa, yeah. That's a, that, Elisa is a gym leader with a lot of personality. I think they did a great job with that one. I remember that gym still, and I don't remember a lot about this game. That and, um, is it Roxy, I think, is in this region as well? Roxy? Uh, yes. Rox I remember that gym as well. I remember I remember Skylar, Lisa, and Roxy's gyms really well. I think they had really cool concepts in them. Yeah, I, I remember love Lisa as, like, a really good character. I like Roxy, just the fact that music, uh, just the actual having, like, sort of technically lyrics, like, saying coughing. Really? Yeah, it's I like, that. it's like, K. O, F, I, N, G, or whatever. I know I I I can't remember if they kept it like that or if it's uh, Dogars because in Japan, it, coughing is called Dogars, and so they do D O G A R S Dogars. If if Ryan was here, he loves coughing so much he'd probably be able to tell you. Yeah. All right, taking on Team Plasma here because this is who we're chasing. Yeah, there I has don't to be. Doubt um, that he just knows that off the top of his head. I mean, yeah, it's, it's may, potentially it's why, like one of the reasons why they like coughing so much. I don't know. Uh, I think he's always really liked coughing. <laughs> All right, here we take on the uh, Team Plasma Grunt. Yeah, this is the part where my memory starts going a little fuzzy on the game. There's like a couple of gyms I remember. There's like this there's this one city I remember really clearly. Um and there's this one moment with um N on like a big Ferris wheel that yeah, I think everybody remembers. Yeah, that one's very iconic. Yeah. I do um, wonder if there there are like Pokemon MMOs that'll keep uh his like speech speed up because in the, in the original, his the way he talks is wit faster than anyone else, even your options of speed text. So he It'll kick that channel one, by the way. Yeah, it gets very busy, and we get kicked out of different locations. Yeah, oh, actually, okay. I'm in channel four now. Just all so right, you know. let me uh, head over. I also need to do something. 
I forgot to do it. So yeah, I don't remember his speech being sped up. I, I, I can't honestly say I remember. All right, there we go. And let me... There we go. All right. Let it, uh, once you are done with that battle, let me know, since I want to invite you into the thing, and then I can activate my shiny pass. Oh, yeah, you did get one of those. Yeah, I got three of them, and they it lasts an hour or so. Probably not going to do a three-hour, but... I know I say this every time we play this, but I forget about it until we play it. Team Plasma has such a good theme. Yeah. I forgot about this. All right. I knew see. a guy who made this his ringtone when this game came out. Oh, and no. That's why I think I remember it so well. <laughs> they have um, one of them, uh, the Mons that I don't really like that much <laughs> in the grass here. What? Oh, I thought you were talking about the sand dial I was fighting. Oh, no, sand dial's cool. <laughs> I don't really like um, its evolutions very much. Uh, they're they're cool. I find them cool, but they're... They, they're eh. they, they have the same issue that Greedent has, only I don't think they're disgusting in appearance like Greedent. They, um, they feel very... It looks like a cereal box mascot to They me. feel very <laughs> I see it. Gen 2 to me, their designs, which, is, which oh. gives me points to liking them, but they're also, you know, it's just like a little more... Generic in design, I feel. Oh, uh, sea waddle. But yeah, there's a uh, pan sage is in the grass here. Ugh. The monkeys. Ugh. Not. Re I mean, most people don't like them. So. Oh, okay. Like those, those, those three monkeys are literally like the least liked monkeys in the game, or in Pokemon, or at least Pokemon in general. Over Ambipom, really? Yes, Ambipom has Ambipom has the advantage of being connected to Apom, which is very liked. So people were able to warm up to it. All right, even though it's got big other t uh, hands. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I I warmed up a little bit to Ambipom. There we go. And now let me activate. But I still don't like its haircut. <laughs> its haircut. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fascinating thing to discriminate against. All right, there we go. I also had a uh, a riches charm, which I got from one of the, uh, the the cats. So. Oh, okay. So now we get boosted money as well. I found big root. Nice. I mean, big you'd root. have found that too if, if you go down there. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people I seem to dislike uh, Mankey for some <clears throat> reason. Gen one hate maybe. Um. um... I think it's okay. Oh shit! Do you have? I just realized. Do you have someone in your chat? Is yeah, yeah, they're right? in my chat. Oh, we should probably connect chats. <laughs> right, right. There's no one in mine at the moment. Hang on, I'll invite you to mine. Because for some reason, if I receive the invite, I just get a blank page. Yeah, I sent you an invite, and I didn't. Yeah. Okay, I've sent you one. All right, let me tab over. Oh, did you already send me one earlier? I didn't notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. So let me. It should make a sound. They a Discord and Discord Twitch needs to enable like a sound effect when you want to see know that happen. Bitch. Send invite. Oh wait, you already sent me an invite. So. Yeah. All right, there we go. I clicked on it. These are real gamer hours. It's two a.m. for me. Yep. Same oh for God. us. Well, it's three a.m. for us. So. I like that it never knows what to do with your transparent background, so it just puts like this nasty purple. <laughs> does not complement the red at all <laughs> for me it's just the pure red because my theme is red so it's like you know oh, we gotta right. put the red there i got like a kind of like a like a lilac ah uh, it looks yeah, yeah. really really bad with red <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not it's not as complimentary uh because it's so bright of a purple red would go goes well with darker purples yeah oh but... yeah if that was a dark purple that would be fine but yeah Oh my god. Ronzor, come on. But yeah, I think Mankey for me, I like Mankey, but I think the reason why some people don't like it is just the fact that it's kind of relatively boring, I feel, in design, maybe. It's just a fuzzy monkey, I guess. I, I, I want to say as well, maybe people just really hate it because of the anime. <laughs> that too, he was very, Ash's very angry. He really sucked. Yeah, and yeah. Then again, why do people like Charizard? Charizard in the anime was also a bit... Yeah, that's true. 
Mm, I don't know. I think Charizard is honestly like the reason that one's so loved is because it's probably one of the most safest designs in existence. True. It's really nothing special, and that's what makes it so appealing. Yeah, it's a good like basis. Oh, like it's where to go from for a Pokemon design. Yo, it has a uh, Venipede here. Venipede's cool. Why do I feel like you really like that one? I don't really like Venipede too much. But... Oh, you know what it is? It's because um, Baller. Yeah, Baller. I like. Yeah, yeah, that was a cool that fusion. Raichu, that Raichu fusion. That's what it was. Yeah, I like that fusion. Just the fact that just it was just a cool design. Like whoever made that, I forget who it was. But it just came out so well and clean with uh, Pikachu's design. That was a good one. I I don't regret eventually changing it out. I think mm -hmm. I was really happy with the last team I had. But for a long time, I remember that was one of the best things on my team. Yeah. All right. Let me head over to my bag. Heal up a little bit. I got a lot of items now. I got like... Since I did buy some goodie bags as well on the market, like last year's goodie bags, let's see if I can get anything. And it was mostly just items, so it was like, it wasn't too crazy. I basically used the money that that one user, like a few weeks back, gave me like 300,000 Poke Dollars. I'm like, I'm going to spend it on like all these goodie bags. <laughs> I basically wasted it. I will say, going back to Mankey though, it did get a really cool evolution recently. It did, do, Annihilate. I love that design. I do have to admit, I do like Annihilate. It's not a Pokemon I would use. I found a um, Petalil, by the way. Oh, nice. Can confirm. They are available. Okay, cool, cool. Heading on there. We can get on this last team plasma here. Getting annoying. I, I shouldn't have gone up all the way up to the level cap because every time I get EXP, it says, uh, you ain't, you got some blah, 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 EXP. You cannot level up because you hit the level cap after every single thing. Well, you shouldn't have gotten greedy, all right? It's your <laughs> own fault. Uh, now, what's over here? All right, it seems like it blends into the normal forest. All right, more trainers. <clears throat> Petalil was caught. Man, I am bummed I'm not going to be using that, but, you know. Yeah. I, I stand by my starters. I can't, I can't not. I should not, because it would make things easier, but I don't know, man. I'm one of them people. You make that choice, you got to stick with it. I, I hate Timber. Me too. That is one of the worst Pokemon of all time. He has a scroat head. Didn't even realize Primate got an evolution. That's neat. It's a very good evolution. It's like I, a ghost type, I think. Right? Yeah, it's, it's because you have to have it uh, faint in battle to evolve. Or something like that. It has to use a move. It ascends. <laughs> yeah, basically, that's what happens. It gets, it gets so angry that it evolves and dies, basically. That's incredible. It, it works so well, like name wise and like everything. It was yeah, annihilated. Yeah, it becomes like a vengeful spirit. Mm -hmm. I look, see. That that's the kind good. of stuff I wish they add more of because it's like that fits into the old like Gen One like urban legends of oh you have to use a prime uh, like uh yeah prime ape and attack and then die and then you Pokemon will evolve like that. How that's, do you feel about? How do you feel about Surf Fetched then? Surf Fetched, I like. I mean, it's it's. I cool. mean, the evolution process. Yeah, I like that. Getting three crits in a bat. I think it's a single battle. It is yeah. really cool, because it's it's, it's a little tough. You have so, to use like dire hits and stuff to make it easier. I yeah, either felt. dire hits or just use uh like a hundred percent chance of crit moves. So I think it gets one of those in a later stage, which basically essentially guarantees you getting it. But. Oh, okay. But yeah, stuff like that, I love that because it's like, it, as an uh, a casual player, you might not know it evolves, and then all of a sudden you use this two times. So like, wait, what? It's evolving. What did I do? I guess yeah, it'd make for a cool surprise. And that's like the one thing because, uh, to me, Pokemon's all about having like surprises here and there when you're going through it, even though like, at times you don't really want to have a surprise to a thing. 
but it's as like going into it i always like having like a fun like oh that's cool oh that's neat i never knew that stuff like that so that's why i never get um there's some people that um play like fan games and like rom hacks or whatever and they they do want to play like they want to look up everything about the game before they even play it so they can they they can plan out how they're going to play the whole game entirely i'm like that's sort of like ruining the experience in a way of this like you're yeah. of enjoying it for the first time because you're ending up basically spoiling yourself on everything i'm like yeah and i'm like okay i mean you can do that that's your prerogative you can do that but it's like to me it's like i don't know I like going into it and like being relatively fresh on it. Like I don't want to go in and like, oh, I'm gonna hate this, uh, like because I didn't know that this was in it. I'll get a general overview of like what people are saying about it or what features are in it. But oh, yeah, I wish this Rayola would evolve. <laughs> I think that. I think this is another one of those slow friendship builders, even with a soothe bell. Yeah, that one's relatively slow. It's not too slow because I think, if I recall, you get it during what gym was it in Gen Four? Did you get it at? It's a uh, hot home, I think, around there. So it's like the fourth slash fifth, depending on the game. Yeah, I remember getting that Lucario by like the fifth or sixth gym. I in um, I think in Diamond and Pearl you get an egg for it, whereas in Platinum I think Riley gives it to you. Right. I don't know. Maybe Riley was in Diamond and Pearl too, but I feel like Riley was a platinum character. I don't want to spread misinformation. I could be very wrong about that, but that's what I think. Because I don't really remember Riley that well, and I haven't played through platinum as much. I think I think he's there. I'm not sure. Probably, no. honestly, probably. I should really put chat back in it's the bottom here. left corner. Oh, that's another platinum. I want to go this there. way. I've been uh, playing Pokemon Sun and Moon for the first time recently. I'm trying to uh, hard not to spoil myself when I look up guides for what Pokemon appear in the grass. Yeah, it's... If I were to recommend, if you are want to see what, or what Pokemon are where, I would go on, like, Serebi, because Serebi doesn't spoil as hard if you're looking up where the Mons are compared to, like, you know, um, Mobilepedia. You, they literally just list, like... You can search the route number on the Sun and Moon part and click the route number and it'll just list the, all the names of like per route and where the map. So that would probably be your best bet to... Yeah, Bulbapedia is a little more spoiler heavy because it, it assumes you already played the games and stuff. Um, but yeah, Cerebi is basically a better on that front if you don't want to be spoiled. I feel like we're really wasting your well i don't know about you but i feel like i'm wasting your shiny thing because i'm not really in the grass very often yeah that's fine that's how it goes yeah it's hard to know with the sos battles yeah i feel that what's an sos battle um in pokemon sun and moon sos would mean like oh you have a uh, a pokemon comes out and it calls for help, and then other Pokemon come in to help it. Oh, right, yeah. I remember getting really annoyed about those when I was <laughs> playing it. Yeah, they they sometimes have, like, unique uh, wild mom that can come out, so it's, like, separate yeah. from the actual grass. Yeah, yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, there's, like, certain things that will only show up as help. Um, I... Not I just remember getting really annoyed by that because it makes catching everything such a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's why you gotta like status it real, and that or else it'll just like keep on calling and calling. It's a perfectly fine mechanic. It's just that you really like if you're not in the mood for that kind of thing, it's gonna be a bit of a drain. Right. Oh boy, I found me a pan sage. It's also why it never returned really often as much as it did in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm Ooh, grass surprised. Knot. That's a good item. RTM. You heard it here. The breeder got excited about the grass knot. Uh, hey, hey, that wasn't even my intention to make a joke there. Hey, if everyone's going to throw me under the bus because I said something about a knot once, you have to deal with it too. Ah, uh, so it's true. What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> okay, Homer. Mm. 
Donuts. Beer. <laughs> Let me heal up. Alright, let me heal you. Poor Luxio, you are so fragile. Do I have an antidote? Yes, I do. Also, why am I playing like this? I literally don't even have my stream popped up. I just, I'm just i using the OBS like window thing. Alright, there we go. Now it's popped out. I don't know why I was doing that right then. That's much better. Alright, uh, antidote on you, and then para. All right, perfect. Final guy, it looks like. A pursuer. Yeah, I really have no memory of this, like, forest. I mean, I've, I remember the name, but not, like, doing this whole event to it. I never know with, with Gen 5 what I do and don't know until I see it. Yeah. It's basically the same. Yo, I found a venipede. Yo, nice. I'm gonna try to catch it. I mean, it's a good typing. Uh, I think it's poison. Kitchen, kitchen. It's a poison bug or is it dark bug? Or is it dark poison? I can't remember now. I think it's poison bug. Yeah, that's still good, decent typing. I'm probably not gonna use it. I'm just, you know, I'm still trying to catch them all, so. Right. Okay, Ash, catch them. You still gotta catch him. No, if I was Ash catch him, I'd you be walking catch away from 90% of them. <laughs> yeah. Be like, oh, my friend wants this one. That's good enough. <laughs> yeah, it is bug poison. Okay, hey, cool. this venipede is impish. That's fitting. Nice. <laughs> what if I made a rule where all of my Pokemon had to be impish or I wouldn't use them? <laughs> I mean... That would be a really bad rule. <laughs> That'd be a, a fun sort of Nuzlocke rule. <laughs> or not really Nuzlocke, like an Imp Lock. <laughs> oh, <Cutter> is... <laughs> imp Lock. <laughs> Yo, I got a skull. If you were Ash, you would catch 30 Tauros and never use them. You're you, absolutely right. You would catch them all in an episode that never got aired because it was banned. Hot stamp. That's oh my god! Move. This dude! This dude's name! Oh my god! <laughs> what have All you right. found? No, this guy's name in game. You're gonna see it. It's in the cutscene. You have to see. You're oh, gonna... okay. It's a character's name. I thought you saw, like, Hawk to a Sigma again. No, 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 no. I was no, no, no. really fucking mad. <laughs> no, it's a character's name. I was about to just name. leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't... I for... uh, how... Wow. That, that's hilarious. Okay, I'll get there eventually. All right, now I'm trying to get oh. to this one item. Oh my god, that is amazing. Of the seven stages? <laughs> what are the other ones? Oh. Oh my god, that is so funny. I'm dying to know what this is, but I'm so <laughs> far away. You, you're, you just have to go through the log that's right after the after you do that. He's right there after the battle. Yeah, but I'm getting peed up right now. They're not even awake, and they're bumping into me. <laughs> Stop bumping into sleeping birds. Yeah, it's your own one fault. of them shines. True. Oh, God, that's funny. Oh, hey, here's that, that weird you. dude, Berg. Oh, sweet. Don't trust him. Don't trust Berg. Nah, he works for McDonald's. He's putting the uh, all the, the bad stuff in it recently. You want to know what's really funny? I played through... I wish I still had this playthrough up for this one reason. I played through um, Sword and Shield. This is a spoiler, by the way. So if you don't want Sword and Shield spoilers, cover your ears. Apparently Unless you have headphones on, because then you're just pushing the spoilers further into your ears. So <laughs> cuff your ears. Um, uh, in Gen A, um, right from the first moment they introduced him, every time Rose was on screen, I would joke, oh, that's the villain. He's evil. I gave him like an evil voice when I was reading his dialogue. <laughs> 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 I was so dead set on like, yeah, that's the villain. And then like, obviously the reveal. I mean, maybe they didn't hide it well. I don't know. I think the thing is, the is thing it... that made that funny was that I just decided he was the villain from his first appearance before he'd even spoke. I sort of <laughs> wish he wasn't. I wish the the, the lady was in that game. I mean, that's, that yeah, was my she expectation. she does feel like a bigger deal than him, honestly. 
it, it felt like, oh, it would be cool if she was the villain and they were playing it up to be, oh, he's innocent. He's like, he runs the big leagues and all that. And so I'm like, you know, it would be cool if she was the villain and pulling the, uh, the, the strings behind him. But I, I guess in retrospect, they literally just had a game prior that had the woman villain. So they'd probably want, all right, we don't want to keep on doing it over and over. And bastardize so. women. <laughs> yeah, it's like, so they're like, all right, no, let's do like, we'll make her look like she's evil but actually she's not and then we'll put po focus on him being nice but he's actually not so there's like oh there's a trick to it i like i like her team i like the um oh yeah the symbolism of it our team yeah. and like having a garbador because she grew up with having a trubbish and it was like a kind child and all that i, I like was... that a lot i think okay, wait, so who was i was supposed to fight this plasma guy yeah come up here and you'll see it you'll okay. ha after the battle he'll show up um, okay. So also, I have to beat this plasma guy fast. Yeah. Uh, Sword of Shield, okay. I think it is worth playing. Um, just to the fact that if you have... <clears throat> it's it's enjoyable. It's just you don't expect something crazy out of it. But it is an enjoyable experience if you're just exploring around. It's fun to uh, shiny catch in it if you want to do that as well. Um, it's, just, it's also just fun to see the advancing of the... Um, of Pokemon as a like playing experience because it's you see the steps every single game of getting up to what Scarlet and Violet is in terms of the open world. Every single game is sort of like they improve a little more and more, which is why it's always weird to see people say, "Oh, Pokemon never changes." Like every single game I... has an adaptation that improves a little more and more if you pay attention to the additions. As, a, as someone who's, like, a, a very casual player of Pokemon, like, you know, I play it a lot, but, like, I never play it very seriously. Um, mm -hmm. I really enjoyed Gen 8, personally. I, I, when I was done playing, I was like, I do not know why people hate this gen so much. They mostly hate it because they felt the storyline was very bland uh, at times. Because they felt the characters weren't as, like, impactful as, like, previous generations. So that was the main thing, but also people came into it with very sour opinions because of like you know the the tree, of course, the graphics. The, there was like the tree, things. the fucking tree. Yeah, <laughs> that that tree was such a dumb idea, a dumb, oh my a God. dumb thing to get angry about because it that literally... tree is a good example of how much certain people will just complain about anything. Yeah, it's they latched onto it because that was the only thing they. As of late, they knew, like, oh, that is that is a bad-looking tree. That's not a bad-looking tree. That's a tree that looks like a real tree that's that grows in the area. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. This guy's name is Gorm. That's the guy I'm talking about. Gorm. <laughs> Gorm. <laughs> that's good. Gorm of the Seven Sages. <laughs> Gorm 57. Oh, my God. He is not he has, He's not Gormless. He is full Gorm. <laughs> Oh god, this is so good. I'm, I'm like, who are the other seven sages? You have Gorm, you have like, <laughs> oh my god, like non-standard. That's probably a guy's name. Actually, no, that would probably be standard. Short and short uh, for it is Stan. So you got Gorm, you got Stan. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, Getsus is a bit of a weird name when you think about it. And he's uh, one of the seven sages. Yeah, Getsus. I wonder if they all start with G. Gorm, Getsus. Uh, Gorm, Getsus, Jeff. Um, Goon. Greg. <laughs> Gimbal. Gimli. Gab Gabodor. Garchomp. Thank you for the moon. Glalie. Okay. Yeah, they go through a whole spiel. Blippy. And Bl Blippy would be <laughs> Blippy, he's he, he's he's an honorable member. Look out, here comes Blippy. <laughs> well, that was a nice detour. But I think there was no wisps. Thought there would be wisps in this uh forest. Oh, this is so cool. I love this moment. This is one of those moments I liked. I was like, whoa. I Even I remember this was cool. Like, I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, the bridge. Yeah, I remember the bridge. So nice. 
What do you got to say, man? In battles, striking first is essential. So here... Oh, you gave me a quick claw. So here's the nagging question, right? Yeah. Let's be real. If there's one thing that's been consistent ever since you first came to this channel that you, you've been able to see, there always seems to be a Pokemon game I'm playing on this channel any given time. <laughs> yeah. So when Pokemon Bo is done, what's going to be next? Pokemon Fool's really Gold. Probably, honestly, uh, depending on how long until Zaza comes out, I'll probably play uh, Legends because I still haven't played that. Yeah, Legends would be a good idea. So this is based on Gen... It goes... You can do Kanto all the way to Unova. So basically you can do all of Kanto. You can do all of Johto. Johto was the recent edition. It's Heart Gold Soul Silver version. So that one's really cool. Um, Emerald was their first. Um, second. Wait, wait, second. Okay. Second. Kanto was first. Kanto was first. Okay. So Emerald was second. I don't really recommend doing Emerald first or like at all, really. <laughs> if you really want to. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, what? Emerald was rough. I did not enjoy Emerald. I think this is bugged. I don't think that's supposed mm -hmm. to be on here. Oh, I thought you were saying what to me. What, what's happening? Oh, no. If you go into the uh, the building uh, once you get to the bridge, you just wait here. And you'll see, mm -hmm. um, I think it's like a debug thing. They forgot to uh, actually add anything to it. Uh oh, I caught a Oh, no, Rayolu. Ah, oh, I need to retreat. You can't be getting knocked out. But yeah, I need you to evolve. Emerald was the the harder one to uh, do, just due to the fact that it felt very like underbaked compared to the other. I get the impression, and we've said this a lot. Uh, I think Emerald it was the second region they added, and I think unlike Kanto, they have never reevaluated Emerald since they released it. Yeah, that's how I feel as well. It My. feels like it was just left in the state that it was in. And Emerald was added right at the time I stopped playing, back in, like, 2014. Right. Let me see. What do we have on the map? So we're here right now. And the Castello is right after the bridge. So let me do on the bridge. Actually, let me... Oh, there you. Holy moly. This 3D. Ah, uh, you're out here. Now, if you wait here, just look at the screen for a bit. Well, just wait here and just wait until the screen goes by. You the can talk screen to goes by? Yeah, on the top here, the black bar. This... Oh, the ticker. Right, right, right. Yeah, so eventually something will come by. And he'll be like, wait, okay. what? Well, hopefully it doesn't come by whilst this lady's talking to me. Okay. Yeah, nothing's happening on it. What's up with yeah, that? Yeah, you have to wait. It, usually there's supposed to be a long thing. I was waiting in there for a little bit. So eventually you'll see something scroll by. I've, I've pressed A on the TV so that the, it's, it's in focus. Yeah, yeah. That changed the camera angle. I don't know if you knew that, but... Yeah, I did. I saw that when I did. really cool. Holy moly. Yeah, did you see it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Because um, it's gone to, like, a side view. You can see, like, our, our sprites, like, up close. I know it's just, like, her apron or whatever, but it looks like they gave the character, a, a, like, the huge dumpy. <laughs> She turns sideways. You have to see this. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just, I just saw it it's again all... on my screen. It went by. Whoa. So you... Oh, my God. What yeah. the eye? I met a bunch of colors. Yeah, it's one and then colors. It's, it's some sort oh, of... one. It's some sort of, like, debug thing. <laughs> they it's just left code. it in. Good thing to join to. Hello, D. How you doing? Ah, uh, YouTube chat. Hello, YouTube chat. Yeah. It's just that D gig guy. Don't worry about it. Nothing special. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Yeah, this this was such a cool moment. What did you wait? What did you join to, D? What did what was the first thing you heard? Probably talking about Dumpy. No, seriously, did you see? I saw. I saw. It looked. You were looked... talking about it in fucking Gen three. I thought I'd mention it here in Gen five. Oh yeah, definitely. Gen three is just far more apparent though because it's such a small well, sprite. Yeah. That this yeah. one is more, um, a little more subtle. <laughs> I could see. It was well, yeah. It took it zoom. Holy fuck! This 3D is is fucking me up. It's all, also the fact that none of us move other than uh, you yourself when you're going on this. So we're all stuck at the beginning of it when you're walking. Oh, is that why I don't see you? I thought you yeah. just stopped back there. I was no. like, why did you just hang back? <laughs> yeah, it's just, you. Once you loop around, you'll see you me down there. 
I mean, can't I rushing over to Vermilion to take the port? But there's tr th nine trillion fishermen. Yeah, there's a lot of nine fishermen. trillion. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm searching for the exact center point of Sky Arrow Bridge. D, we're always looking for more people to join us if you'd like to join us. Oh, man, this game, uh, you know, if Elizrin doesn't mind, if he doesn't have like a secret beef with you, that is. What's their name? Let's see. D gear. <laughs> oh, D gear. Yeah, that's fine. He's cool. I walked so far, my legs are sore. Ah, yes. The reason I I play Pokemon: spirited dump truck asses. Yeah, that's now what I play. we're talking. <laughs> This is the this is the city I remember really well. I mean, it's a very memorable place. Yeah, this one's cool. I, I liked it. Though this I do and, um, remember having Lu Lumios. Uh, yeah, Lumios or Luminios. Those I remember no, really well. Like I mean, I know Lumios is Gen Six. I'm just saying, like, that's another really memorable city. Yeah, this one I remember getting a little angry at though when I was navigating when I was younger. <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean this way? I want to go this way." No, what? <laughs> like. This sort of like directional issues, which makes sense for a big city. So, join in what way? Because I got one team that's like level forty, and that's it. No, I mean like if you want to like join the stream, the call, if you want to play Pokey MMO with us. Yeah, like in the future you... or whatever. I do not know GeoNet. Pan Sage, Pan Seer, and Pan Sore are Pokemon that evolve with special stones. Pokemon do you okay, want them all? I'm going to go register the place that I live in, GeoNet. This function is not yet implemented. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. What stone should I get? Oh. Illusion, you're going to be so jealous. I'll get Pants here. You're going to be so jealous of this one guy because I know you're such a furry that you're going to be so I'm upset. not a furry. This guy here has a um, Alpha Lucario. That's got to send you absolutely wild to see. <laughs> well, I have an Alpha uh, Drapion, so... Ha. Huh. Wait, what do you mean you're not a furry? What? I'm not a furry, no. Have you been lying to me this whole time? <laughs> no, I'm not. I could have swore you were a furry. No, what? I'm a weeb, not a furry. Oh. I complained to you the other day about, like, someone <laughs> bu bugging me saying I was put on the furry list and I wanted to get off the furry list on Blue Sky. But I, because I'm not a furry. Oh, okay. I have the issue that people put me assume. On the furry list? I have no idea. You, have to, you would have to check yourself. Because I'm not a furry either, apparently. It's like, <laughs> it's like I was. I say you sound a lizard. I know, I know. I'm mostly like, like not actually angry. I'm more so like you know, just a little like you know, and yeah, uh, what's the word? Ruffled, I Wait, guess. Which Pokemon do you want to evolve? Pan Sage, Pan Zero, Pan Poor? None of them. Yeah, I don't care about any of them. He gives you a stone either way, so you just gotta uh, you pick your I'll stone. I'll say Pan Sage. Give me. Wait, hang on. Let me let me check which one I don't currently have a stone for. <laughs> um, evolution items. Okay, I have a fire stone. So Blue Sky has block lists that people make, and there's a oh, website boy. that allows you to select. Oh, I want a, this block list, and it blocks all the people that are listed on the list. I think it's not. What these lists that are public are just more so people made the list themselves for themselves to block. It's not really like you can apply to that. So I'm like, how do I get removed off this blog list? I, it was more so I learned later that I was, is this a personal list that someone made? So it's not like I'm actually part of a big thing, but yeah, Blue Sky is cool though. I, re I do recommend I checking mind it if out. I was put on the fairy list personally. I think Elizabeth is just being a hater. I, I'm a hater. Mostly, this is the fact that people keep on like inferring that I am. I got I got added to um, a Discord bot auto message saying that to DM me to RP furry uh, not safe for work stuff. I'm like, who added me on this? I feel like. Um, like... <laughs> uh, so if you want to join us in the future, Diga, because you said uh, let me know ahead of time, I'll get a union of a team caught up. Uh, we are actually pretty early into this game, so it would be pretty easy to catch up to us at the moment. Um, yeah, if it, you want to join in, um, you will need to join my Discord server because that's where we do this. So, yep. Uh, f feel free to join it. I'll make you. I'll make you a mod so you can like join the stream planning. I always, I always get confused by this person. Like, this is just before badge three. Yes. Yeah, right um, before badge three. I want to go back because there was still more like route before the bridge i didn't go all the way down because i needed to heal i didn't realize how long this bridge was gonna take to go across oh so yeah i go all the way back sorry guys sorry <laughs> there shouldn't be too much because it was like it was literally just a little road between disconnecting it 
So Yeah, but I didn't actually have a look at how long it was. Yeah, that's fair. People who work in this building have a Pokemon battles, not not opinion battles. Oh, so it's not Twitter. Okay. <sighs> you appear to be strong, <sighs> but if you go upstairs, please be extra careful. Also, I, that sprite, I'm always unsure if that's like a grandma or a grandpa. Because the mustache, can it can be an either a mustache or it can either be a teeth. I'm not sure. Be sure to forward my furry commission request to you in the future. You can forward the results to me. <laughs> I won't judge you. Unlike a lizard. I think I furry art is still good art. I don't mind unlike furry art. <laughs> I like I like some furry art, but I don't engage with it in that way. <laughs> You're a fool. You're missing out. It's like, I am chill with people liking what they like, but I'd rather not be called something that I'm not. <laughs> I'm here for the creature MMO. <laughs> Yeah, just tell everyone to leave you alone and just be like, I'm only here to play Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah, I'm, I'm, um, I'm only here to play furry MMO. <laughs> I'll make you an admin. I trust you won't fuck with my server, so I'll make you an admin. Welcome to the battle company. Since you are here, mm, battle You with should me. be able to go into the stream planning room. I will take no for an answer. Jeez. Clerk Ingrid. Why is there a square? That's like a massive subsection oh, of B Sky. Never going to see it. Wait, what is? Uh, the, probably the furry section. Oh. I mean, that's a massive subsection of everything. There's a lot of furries in the world. Yeah, there's... Uh, for internet-wise, if you have a healthy furry or not safe for work community on it, you are basically a, a thriving community. Like, those are the backbones for any social site. That's why, I, that's why when I originally joined Blue Sky, I saw a lot of furry art, and I'm like... All right, yeah, this is going to blow up in about maybe like 6, 12 months from now. And yeah, eventually it did. So it does. It helps that um, that basically Twitter is killing itself slowly. Yeah, they sure are. And the sad thing is people just keep fucking going back at the moment. I mean, it's that's going to happen. It, people Twitter like, is like, it, it's just such an abusive relationship. People get upset, they walk away, and then they go back. But see, the thing is, the more it happens, it keeps happening. This is the fact that they they think, oh, they're coming. They're always going to come back. They're always going to come <laughs> back. And then more and more people are going to keep on staying, uh, staying at Blue Sky. And I think well, there was a recent st 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 yeah, statistic that says, like, Twitter lost about like, like thirty or forty percent of its viewer base, active viewer base or whatever, and it's, it lost eighty percent of profits. So it's not doing too well over there. What breaks my heart is um, artists spreading awareness about how like you should not post your art on Twitter anymore because it's being used for AI training, mm -hmm. and then artists carrying on posting it on Twitter. Yeah. Um, oh, don't do that to yourself. There are a lot. So here's one thing: a, tw a lot of people in the Japanese side of the community, they're they are joining other uh, websites now as well. I think one was a Miski, which is like a Japanese very focused like social media. Um, that mm -hmm. that's how a lot of uh, Japanese artists are moving to. So because they're also getting sick with Twitter and so Twitter itself, even on the Japanese side of Twitter, there's always arguments that people are having issues with, like. It's a bunch the same, even through different languages. People are always acting as getting upset over random stuff that no reason to be upset about. So also, D Gear said, um, "So obviously you can't see my YouTube chat, so I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. pass that along." Uh, D Gear said, "Currently changing my kits in a Discord decoration so a lizard doesn't murder me." <laughs> <laughs> Look what you've done. I mean, if you want, I could put on my uh, feet decoration on the Discord. I'm going to join VC in like three seconds. Um, If you do, can you make sure you have a Fuji set up, please, if possible? Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to have a big fucking icon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you need a link to Fuji, so I can So Pixiv isn't a social media, though. Right. Pixiv is a image hosting sort of site. It's, it's more closer to DeviantArt than a uh, social media. Uh. Miski is more so like a mixture of Imgur and Twitter, so it's sort of a mixture of that. It's very, it's also like I would, I had it downloaded on my phone. It, you can use it, it as English translations on it, but 
it's very um it feels like you're at a the best way i could describe it it feels like you're at like a a casino because everything is so flashy on it <laughs> um like icons are animated for reacting onto stuff so um and that you can have custom icons for your posts like emotes you could do emotes it's sort of like discord in that way too um it's very like eye catchy like busy and there's also like it does sound notifications when you're in the app to tell you like oh uh someone posted that you follow and stuff like that so it's like it's all like very like happening <laughs> i don't did know did you they... um what? did you go all the way south of where the bridge is by the way uh no i don't think so no <laughs> Why? No fucking wonder bug was like, oh, I'll take the north way, you take the other way. Yeah. It's like three trainers and then you're out of the entire woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I assumed as well. What an asshole. <laughs> He's like, oh, you do all the work. I'm going to go deal with this very tiny portion of the area. <laughs> he probably wants to block the, uh, block the, the uh, bridge just in case they come. So yeah, Lizard uh, Diga said he's gonna join in a moment. I think he's just setting up Fu Fuji. All right, sounds good. Mister Fuji. I have to uh, let me kill this guy here. By the way, I I want to just say you know um when we when I first played um was it uh, the Zelda All Hallows Eve and me you and Diga were talking about some very Guna games <laughs> <laughs> like the whole fucking stream. <laughs> Oh. That that VOD actually got a comment. My VODs very rarely oh, get comments. God, I'm sound. I am not lined up very well. Oh no. That 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 spooked me out. Yeah, yeah that spooked me, me out. That. Your join notification sound. Yeah, that. I'll get, <laughs> I wasn't um, expecting that. I'll get an actual thing up. set up later if All I'm right. gonna be here more often. Sounds good. Yeah, that, that I mean that still works. It's fine. Yeah, let me uh grab. Yeah, one I just here. grabbed one of the random thousands of drawings of my character that lay dormant on my computer. But uh, yeah, I was. Uh, you know how we were talking about that, right? So fucking, that vod actually got a comment. They rarely ever do. <laughs> <laughs> the Is comment it from was. The guy? It was from some guy, and he was like, "Is there a version of this without comment?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. <laughs> Well, because we were talking about those games on Steam. I mean, I don't know if that's why. Maybe they just were one of the people that only wants to watch, like, quiet gameplay. Does but he? I saw it, and a part of me just assumed, like, this guy hated what I was talking about. <laughs> no, that's, that's funny. That's good. I it's hope like, 